go. Good morning. All right. Good morning. We're on our way from the Sea of Galilee and we're heading to Mount Tabor, the Mount of the Transfiguration. When you read the accounts of the first pilgrims that came here in the first centuries, it would take them months to get here and when they were here they would walk from one site to another. They would be getting up at where we were at Nafginasar now, and they would spend a day walking where we're driving. They would arrive at the base of Mount Tabor in the cool of the evening, camp in tents. Everybody, hands up! No hands. And Amir. Woo! Take a roller coaster. Amir, كله حبيبي مش بس فريد. أقوى من فريد. لا بقول حبيبي. A boob with his mustache. Yes, yeah. it's a good mustache. I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch where you're going. <laughs> he knows it by heart. He doesn't have to watch. He does it a hundred times a day. You know what you paid for the for the ride has expired. You have to pay another buck. <laughs> Whoa, if we went on straight there, we'd go right off into the valley. That's your first time on the trip. So I'm going to get started for about 10 minutes, and then Amr will, and then we'll cut you loose so that you can take pictures and see everything, and we'll tell you what to specifically see. There are three main biblical episodes that took place here, and I want to start all the way back at the beginning of the Old Testament in the book of Judges. There was a woman named Deborah. She was called a prophetess. And she would sit under a tree and prophesy for God. There was the man named Barak, who was the leader of the armies of Israel. The in Israel army gathered around this mountain, and they were ready to defend themselves as the iron chariots came through the Jezreel Valley. But Barak turned chicken. He said, I will not go out and fight those massive armies. We do not have chariots. How can I fight against 300 iron chariots? He said, I will not go out unless Deborah goes in front. Oh. One of these great moments. <laughs> what a man. <laughs> when men, when men put their tails between their legs and ran, and the women stepped up to the front and led the charge. Remember, it happened at the cross, too, where all the men ran from Jesus. And who was at the foot of the cross? His mother Mary and the holy women. And I'll show you in Jerusalem where those holy women stood looking at Jesus on the cross. So Deborah steps up to the front and she said, I will lead the armies of Israel and I will bring victory. And because of her trust in God, as she went out to meet the enemy, a huge rainstorm God sent and he caused the whole Jezreel Valley to turn into mud. The iron chariots got bogged down. They were losing the battle and they generally... Hi, Teresa Tamio here with Amr Shaheda. Amr is our wonderful guide, our Catholic guide here in Israel. And this is Technically our second day, the pilgrims arrived last night and we are on the beautiful Mount of Transfiguration, Mount Tabor, a beautiful spot high in the mountains uh, around Nazareth and we can see to the Sea of Galilee and everyone is excited and doing well and we're having a great time. Once again. 
again, I promise. Once again, I promise. To love and honor you. To love and honor you. In good times and bad. We just got off our three buses and now we're all headed already, they're already in, to St. George's, St. George's restaurant, a Christian restaurant. We bring everybody here because it's a Christian place and they clear the whole restaurant out for us and it's delicious food. And here is a, uh, everybody getting started. Already have all the salads out and the hummus, and here we got some kebabs already started. And the next level is here. And then we'll take you to the final level up here. It's a big restaurant. It's another reason we come here. And there's everybody up here. And the view out the window is of Nazareth. How do you like that? <laughs> <laughs> 